How do yeah. you start? Well, I usually just say. Usually. What's the question? The question. 100% okay. of the time. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> 100% of the time, we usually start off by going. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite um, uh, movie video game? Tyler. I'm going to start with you. Movie Are we starting? Game? Yeah. Oh, start we're right. I'm taking it's a note did, did you want to say that again? <laughs> <laughs> Since what? it was interleaved with Are We Starting? Oh, <laughs> yes. What's your favorite movie video game, Tyler? Or video game movie? Should wow, this wel- is a question I haven't been asked people? before. Uh, you have, I've never <laughs> been asked this. <laughs> Should we, like... Do you want half hey of guys? this? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll go half. I'll go half six. There's so much coconut. I know. <laughs> this bagel did not want to break. Or I have really bad teeth. Both. Might be both. You have bad teeth? You have soft teeth? My teeth are not designed to tear. Hmm. That's pretty good. So do you mean like a movie has turned into a video game or video games turned into a movie? I guess either. How many? Well, no. I I, I can tell you. Well, no. I, I definitively know which one is my favorite movie turned into a video game. It's the Spider-Man on uh, the GameCube. Because that's the only good one. Um, That'd be my favorite. So <laughs> that conversation's over. So we'll go for the other one since we already have a definitive winner. Um, this is so good. They did so many good things with that game. They did. They made GTA with Spider Man. Well, it was mostly like it was. Um, it's kind of what everyone ever wanted from a Spider Man game. Because like, previous the one right before that was the other one that was tie to the movie, right? But it was a linear game because so you would go from. A to B to B to A, but it was, and a lot of it was taking place in like side of a warehouse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is not what you want to do with a Spider-Man game. Well, you want to be out in New York. So well, then Spider-Man, swinging. then Spider-Man Two came out, and Spider-Man Two allowed you to swing around the city. And I think it had two different options for swinging. I think it'd be like simple swinging, auto swinging, and then swinging based on building like in, height, like in Red Dead. But I remember though anything. that you could. Maybe at least with the simple swing, you could swing like out over the ocean. Yeah, yeah where... but, like, I, I'm, I'm not 100, percent but I feel like there was another option that made it so you couldn't swing when you were over the ocean. Well, yeah, there was the there was the aim swinging where you actually had to pay attention to where you're shooting to hit the building. Not really where you're moving. shooting, but like you needed to be in an area where it could yeah. hit something that was taller than you. Yeah. What do you think the cost of cleaning up all that web is? A lot. I like, hope it... he makes it biodegradable. I mean, like, yeah, but biodegradable could be on a long time scale. You want it to be water I mean, soluble. Like, then he's not good in water situations. What happens? Like, I guess that's true. What you happens think there's the like a stage? guy who has to go around with like a big broom and he's like, God damn it, Spider Man. Well, at least Spider Man's creating jobs. <laughs> <Yes. If we're laughs> Spider Man gonna make America great again. <laughs> there's a bunch of birds nests made out of Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. There's there's Those a lot of baby birds. birds nests. <laughs> there are baby birds that are just like stuck. In, oh, that's terrible. Yeah. But getting back, he's to calling it, the bird population. I don't even actually know what the point of that game was because all I remember is going over to your house all the time and just swinging around the city. That was the point of the game. That's right? what you did. Were there quests? You delivered pizzas sometimes. Really? Yeah, you were a pizza delivery guy, which I don't think is ever addressed in the film. Is Spider-Man you have... a pizza delivery guy? In yeah. the mo- in the in the game, he is. I don't in the movie, he is. He's, he's one of the yeah. Movies. He gets fired or what? He gets yelled at because he's saving people. I vaguely remember. Oh come that. on, those are the that was the good one. Spider Man Two. No, that's, I think that was the first Spider Man. In the oh. first one, all I remember the Tobey Maguire one. But yeah. Spider Man, I just remember him wasn't. being like a high school student. Yeah, Spider Man. No, he was no. in college. He was he a college? pizza delivery guy. He uh, definitely was a. Pizza. He rode no, his little scooter. He was. I he was doing boxing. He or was riding a school bus. He was not in college. He what? was absolutely. He, he was on. He missed the school bus, and he I don't was like think that was a school it. bus. I think that I think was, it was a just bus. a bus. No, I'm pretty sure it was a school bus. I no, I haven't no, seen no, it in no. like eight years, no, 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 so no, no, no. I don't know. <laughs> he was trying to. I know, but he's... I adamantly feel. Like I know he's a pizza delivery guy. At one point, that's what. It is. I'm fairly. Sure. I, I think you're right, but not in the second one. I don't. I don't even. What happened in the second? That's Doc Ock. It was the yeah, Doc Ock one. The he's first one was just Green Goblin. He's in college for the second one. Then I think he was in college for. I think he's just Spider Man in the second one. I don't think his professional career outside of Spider-Man really is. Well, being a Spider-Man well, doesn't he's a pay scientist. him, which is he why works he works at the Daily Planet or whatever. Not yeah, Daily Planet. no, he doesn't. The, yes, he does. The Bugle. Yeah, he takes pictures of Spider-Man. Well, he doesn't work at as much. He as, sells like, pictures. Freelance too. J. Jonah Jameson. He, he really just does like what our generation does, which get taken advantage of by big companies, <laughs> but not Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> 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 Dunkin', Dunkin donuts, donuts for breakfast, Wendy's for dinner, we're covered. Of course not Dunkin' Donuts. Not Dunkin'. 
I'm glad you slid that because <laughs> I want that. Um, but yeah, Spider Man 2, best movie video game? Mm hmm. Yes. Not video game movie. What about Prince of Persia, the movie, the game? Mm. <laughs> it was an okay game. <laughs> It, the mo- I've never played it. The game was so, just a the Persia 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 game. Was... We, me and Emily, actually went and saw that for an anniversary because we didn't know what else to see. Was it good? That was a terrible mistake. Yeah, I, I think Take we also went off. to a bad restaurant. I don't think we had a good anniversary. It was a bad anniversary. I'm sorry. I mean, it was good because it was our anniversary. But <laughs> <laughs> it was bad because it was full of Jake Gyllenhaal and mediocre food. Was Jake Gyllenhaal the waiter? Yes, he was. <laughs> oh, oh, I think. Is that we tried to do like Lux level? So off topic. Uh, we tried to do Lux level, which is like supposed to be like nice, like you can sit next to each other and stuff. But there was this big surfboard table between us, and we were in like captain's chairs that tilted over too much. So if you're like a tall person, it like feels nice on your neck. But if you're a short person, it bends your head over. <laughs> and we were like, we had to like reach like this to have any kind of contact. And I'm, like, <laughs> Why were you so far away? <laughs> Was that Lux? Is that yeah. what Lux level is? <laughs> well, well that's about... what this one was like. I think there's like different setups in the different theaters. Is that the, the Randolph one? Yeah. Mm. But not well, We're giving away it. too much. <laughs> People will be able to find us. Was that Ed world? Sullivan? Located <laughs> at... Uh, Thir- box 32? <clears throat> Ooh, Grasshopper <clears throat> Lane. <laughs> oh, no. Well, that's a lot of information. <laughs> Right, they're coming for you. You're in deep chill Social, social security number four, nine. I actually no, just know four. I have social security number. <laughs> He's Why immortal. the fuck do you know my social security Don't number? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm a little worried about it. Do, do you need to register a boat? I did. Oh, well, a boat trailer. Yeah. No, that was an accident. I never owned a boat trailer. Let's... I don't understand. But anyways, understand. back to movies and videos. <laughs> Yeah, that think we've gotten other... to Ed's boat trailers. I'm trying to think of what other, like, widely known movie was turned to game movie. adaptation, like a game movies. There, uh, game I mean, there have been movie? a ton of them. Movie, been a ton, movie to game, like, or game to movie. I can't think of we're any doing, that were. We're doing game uh, to movie. This is movie to game. Movie right to game. Now. Oh, right now. I well, I remember um, when I was a kid. I absolutely loved this game, but it wasn't great at all. It was the Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine? Oh, is that the N64? But that's not based on a movie. That's I think it's based, based, based off, it's based off a movie it's franchise. It's based on a movie as those kind of games can get. Yeah, which yeah, was a know, lot it of was, a, well, maybe maybe after well, I guess during like the the N64 and before yeah, that generation yeah. making a a movie video game What's really just meant having the name on it. Yeah. Didn't even have to have anything from it. But well, that I means mean, you it, actually got Good games, but sometimes. after that, it really became like a uh, like almost copy pasta movie until Lego came in. Ooh, Lego! Yeah, Lego. Yeah, Lego, Lego did a lot. So, if, does Lego count as? Yeah. Oh, yeah. then there have been a great. Yeah. There have been a bunch been a of. Plethora. If we're counting Lego, games. there's a lot of at least solid. Yeah, movie but that that Indiana Jones things. game was just like the the HUD was an Ocarina of Time rip, basically. Like they just took the the display from Ocarina of Time and threw the Indiana Jones game on it. Um, that sounds fantastic. And it was great, but like I went back and played when I was an adult, and it's just like, and it's it's more seeing what it from it 2016 and 64, seeing the 2016 view of an N64 game. But I remember when I was like 11 playing it, I was just sitting there like this game is really glitchy. Like you <laughs> could, their their checkpoint system was really bad because you could end up like getting to a point where you can't checkpoint back to a point where you had to have done something to continue your level. But you could also still not do that thing. There was no safeguard. Like, if you had to do A, B, and C, you might skip B and then get to D and not be able to do D because you skip B, but you can't get back to B. Oh, what? Another game had that. What was it? Was it Super Goals, Ghouls and Ghosts or something? Super Ghouls and Ghosts? Yeah. I don't know if you could skip things. In Ghouls and if you didn't get an item, it was... Yeah, you could get an item. That was, that that was just the first That was Ghouls, Ghouls and Ghosts, yeah. yeah. Because, like, you needed to grab the shield uh, or something. It was, like, AVGN, where he was, like, get the shield. Oh, no, maybe it was the knife. He was, like, get the knife. <laughs> yeah, it was something you needed. Yeah. If you forgot, if you didn't get it to drop or proc, you you lose. So you it's lose basically, it, it's one of those games that's really fun because that's the aesthetic of what every kid dreams of when you're adventuring, which is Indiana Jones. But it has a lot of oversights that maybe more, I guess, experienced game companies might not How old is this it. game? This game, I think, was released in, like, 99. I, uh, that might have just been a Men product the, of its time, time, honestly. Because, like, uh, a lot of games back then, like, were using codes to do stuff. I mean, <clears throat> 97. What came so, out in 97? 
Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time. Time. Half-Life. Yeah. A bunch of stuff came out in 97. I'm trying to think about company did it. I think it was like THQ or something that did it. Maybe. Well, Which THQ is... don't exist no more, so. Mm. Yeah, they sold off all their assets. <laughs> Other because people. of the Indiana Jones game. Yes, that's the I don't reason think that's why they failed. failed. It hit them like years later. Yeah. <laughs> Their investors were like, "What was up with this Indiana Jones game?" And they were like, "Oh, we don't talk about that around the office." They, actually, they were like, "Well, we're talking about it." They here. actually borrowed a ton of money with like uh, no interest, like payback term, and then ten years later, just hit them. <laughs> and they were like, oh my god, we gotta get out. Indiana Jones. This Indiana Jones game killed us. Guys. And there were like just weird things. Like, K Bob and I popped it in a few months ago, and like things would just change colors for no reason. Like, you'd climb up a ladder and be a tumbleweed that was that was like dead, and then you would get halfway up the ladder, it would just be restored to life and was green and vibrant again. And just little things like that. Ooh, horrible. Well, <laughs> what was that? Jesus. This was a hard decision. To choose this donut. <laughs> the, the pink donut. It's a good donut. That's usually what I get in the morning when I get donuts. It's delicious. They never have vanilla. What happened to vanilla donuts? They have vanilla. They had two. They had vanilla frosting. They, they, don't, they don't have them at the gas station. It's a pet peeve of mine. And I feel like vanilla should be more. This isn't something that's out yet, but it's intriguing to me. I was reading last night. They're taking Minecraft and making that into a movie. How? I, yeah, don't, I don't know. Oh, what about? What, didn't they do what it? I say, they did the Telltale games. Just a dude which, walking around punching which dirt. I have to say, building something. Probably one of the most triggering things ever because they called it Minecraft Story Mode. <laughs> yeah, they did. And I was like, "That's." I I saw it like on the, like the Xbox screen. I was like, "What is this?" And then I saw it. And I saw Telltale, and I was like, "No." <laughs> I mean, Telltale. Like, Telltale. I Telltale's hate them. fine. <laughs> I hate them, which is why I was, I was like, oh man. They make, like, point-and-click games. Wolf kind of. Among Us, oh, okay. uh, The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead. Uh, uh, they're uh, making a Batman one. They made, I don't they're enjoy they made a Batman one. No. Yeah. I do not enjoy Batman. I mean, it's fu- you've just gotta, it's more for the experience than the gameplay. Yeah. I know. You watch it for, oh, they did the Borderlands one. Borderlands yeah. one's awesome. Never played it. All of it is awesome. They're all great, fantastic yeah, little things. I, little I, nuggets I, of I, stories. Yeah. Yeah, they're good stories. There's just not a lot of gameplay. They called it Minecraft Story Mode. Well, they weren't lying. You played the story, man. You did. But I was like, I was so excited. I was like, oh, I wonder, like, they made a little adventure. It didn't even have to be, like, that complete. I would have been like, oh, this is cool. Aren't they making a Tetris movie? Yes. I really want to see how that works. No, they aren't. Yeah, Yeah, they are. That's 2017, I think. Is this Adam Sandler? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just I'm just trying to think of who I would make it. Well, I'm they made Battleship into a movie. So well, that they it did. Battleship transitions. Are real, I know Battleships they went, are real things, but then in the movie, they're just like yeah, they went aliens. to a weird place was with it, it. Wasn't Battleship like Transformers basically? Kind no, of. it had Transformers in it. It was like faux Michael Bay. Yeah, I remember like a spinning ball, or I'm trying, or I'm thinking of that was Transformers. An alien. Was oh, that, I love that the, was in Battleship. Oh, yeah, I, see, I, I thought in, it was Transformers. I think in Battleship, they also shoot the pegs. They do. The fucking the aliens shoot the pegs. The legitimate, <laughs> like, double-cylinder peg. Here's they the, shoot. Here's the thing, though. I can see... I can look at a Battleship... Stupid as shit. I can look at the game Battleship and say, I could see that's a movie. Battleships go battleship. around and shoot things. I can't look at Tetris, which is just a game of dropping blocks and You can't look at levels. this abstract game and derive and, a story from and it? And derive a story. Hold on, hold on. It's a game that's been, like, ripped off so many times i think it was invented by this poor russian dude yeah and he just got fucked he just got fucked like multiple times and then companies started fucking each other over tetris my family tetris was like crack yeah, well, back yeah. in the day tetris, they, was, um, the, tetris, tetris was, was like bobby yeah. <laughs> every time you got a full tetris you little russian guys came out and danced in the other screen is that real it was like a like a, a bootleg rip of tetris that my family bought before the company made got sued and couldn't release it <laughs> <laughs> um, I could think of a plot line for Tetris. It's Give me, right, go a, horror, it to me. a horror movie. Okay. A guy wakes up in like a cylindrical room oh. and someone's dropping like blocks weird. on him. It's like weird. And weird. he tries to climb out over the blocks, so it's just but a they weird disappear. Character study? I, was, I was thinking it could be like. It's a, like 128 hours, but with falling blocks. I don't think it needs to be that. I think it could be like a, like a weird, like, like jaunty comedy film. <laughs> About a guy who's like cleaning his house and like he puts something together and disappears. He's like, whoa, I have powers. <laughs> and he goes and just starts putting things <laughs> together in order. It's like the like, weirdest <laughs> version of like Bruce Almighty. Yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. He parks his car perfectly <laughs> inside of a spot and all the cars around him disappear. <laughs> see, now that you say that, I could see I could see him making like a Tron esque version of Tetris where like uh... they're like, it's like this weird company that has to clear databases in the way that they 
do their the way they view it is basically Tetris, but something goes wrong, so people have to go in and actually clean up manually the blocks that are falling. You know, what? I'm gonna disagree with all of you. There's no good way you can make. A Tetris movie. <laughs> I, I mean, think there's if you're there. making the Tetris movie, tune in because we're giving you some ideas. And mark my words. <laughs> we'll find out. Because the guy that said it, he's like, it's nothing you guys will think of. Hmm. It's not that's, gonna that's, be. Anything. It's not even going to be Tetris. You guys won't even. I was like, then what is it? It's gonna be just, aliens flying Tetris. I swear to Christ, oh if aliens are involved because that's, that's the only probably way. People... Do you seem to be able to? Did anyone see Pixels? No, no, no. I didn't either. It looked god awful. It did. I, Most I, pixels. I turned to Adam Sandler movie doing like old games coming uh, to but life. they were like invading yeah i'm sure i just was... remember a scene with pac-man going down the street yeah that, that like, was he like puts the out cover. like an asian guy puts out his hand and the pac-man like Ooh, and the pac-man like bites his hand. he's like Ooh! that's all i remember I, I bet you it, it, it probably was great it. you think it did great i think no. it made money i think it made yeah, money too that's... adam sandler movies are he's like white medea he is white medea uh he sells really well to white <laughs> folks well, not, not all. Like he sells well the stereotypical white folks. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's doing something right, I guess. He's making a shit he's ton making of money a lot of money doing like crap movies. Was it sad? Cause he was good. He was. I don't know. Was he good? I. The Wedding Singer was a good movie. Yes, The Wedding Singer was a good movie. I liked his movies. Yeah. I also Back liked his movies day. when I was a child. Oh, no, like, no like, I still like Little. Nicky. Happy Gilmore is still good. Happy Little Gilmore's Nikki's okay. Funny. I, Little Nicky's funny. I can't comment on Little Nicky because I haven't actually Little sat Little down and fully watched yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. I sit down. I like I like Little Nicky. I like Happy Gilmore, and I like um, uh, Bob Boucher, the Water Boy. Uh, but the thing about this movie, to me though, is when I look the at them, it's hilarious. The Water Boy is this, funny. It looks like the same the character with just a different is aesthetic. Really offensive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is the Water Boy offensive? Big Daddy was really a pretty offensive. good movie. Uh, Big Daddy remember. was like it was almost like a Big, weird coming of age. Big yeah. Daddy, it was like that. That was his transition to a uh, like Spanglish, where it just got sad. I like, <laughs> I, I kind of like, yeah, I kind of well, like his that's, serious that's movies. Like, I kind of like, yeah, that's. I like liked Rain on me, Rain over me, because Don Cheadle's in it. Oh, yeah, also Chilo's the end of Click also turns very. Yeah, sad. I think I consider Click like the turning point for him because he made Click and Click. I think is a. Maybe not his magnum opus, but maybe his. Uh, I think. I think a lot of people consider Rain Over Me his magnum. Opus. Yeah, but no but, but I think, I think in so. Rain Over Me is a movie. <laughs> it is a movie. <laughs> a lot You're of not people like it. I think it's, he was trying fine. to do uh, the Jim Carrey thing opus. with the Truman Show, though. Like I you think Adam was trying to do a serious movie. <laughs> What? I think he's trying to do sort of the, the Jim Carrey thing with the Truman Show, where he did like a yes. serious movie. Only Jim Carrey but he went, worked like, out a little bit more. The thing is, is yeah, that with I that, love the Truman Show. Truman I don't know, I'm saying after the Truman Show. I, don't, well, I think he got worked out after, after, after the Truman He did The Majestic after that, which is weird. And yeah. then he did uh, uh, The Number 23. Yeah, well, that he did. One, weird. Uh, what's Bad. the one where they take his memories? Weird. Oh, uh, oh. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotlight. That's a lot of people like that one. That's good. I would say that's probably his. His magnum opus, his magnum oh. popus. It's he pope. He's going to be. Oh, no, he, <laughs> I'm into it. I would watch that. I mean, he's I hope if he, he becomes If he pope. were the pope, what would his religious name be? Because they change your name. Like you're not the pope's actual like pope whatever isn't your actual Ventura. name. Pope Ventura. Pope Ventura. It's weird because <laughs> they usually choose another pope's like a, a previous pope's name. So yeah. what was the so first he'd be, pope's so name? He'd be the first? Pope Ventura the first. The first pope was like, I am pope. Pope, Pope, Pope. I could look it up, but I don't, I don't remember. The pa- there have been a Pope, lot. There I was there. watching a CP... I was just watching, like, CPG Grey <laughs> videos on, like, a playlist while I was playing games yesterday. Um, and he, uh... There was one where he was telling you how to become Pope. It's very hard. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that one, I think. There's that funny period of time with the anti-popes. What are anti-popes? It was, it was a period of time when they were... Two factions that each decide which, like, decide a different person going to be pope. Mm-hmm. And there's basically a war, so there was like a while for like hundred some years where there were popes in France that were considered anti popes, but people in France thought they were the pope. <laughs> and then at some point, I think there were three people vying for pope, and one faction lost, so that guy got killed. Oh, that just sounds like France being France. <laughs> it was it was just war over who got to be pope. I guess so. You know, like popes, popes a weird thing. Because back in the day, you know what else you could do. You could just make yourself a pope. Mm-hmm. You could be like a king of England. Could be. Okay. So movie so games. Video. So movie <laughs> games. Uh, now that we went on that fucking I think, crazy Nick, what do you think? No, 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 no. While, we're, while we're on the tangent, just the deep fact I learned from that video, I think the longest it ever took to choose a pope was three years. That's a long-ass time. Mm-hmm. 
Because, like, aren't popes old? It's a lot of black smoke. They also, like, don't they lock them all together? They yep. make them vote, like, three times a day for three yep. years. That's cool. And every time I they just started to Does it have to be, like, unanimous? Yeah. I would have just started slitting throats, man. There were times <laughs> when they when factions would have Cardinals assassinate. It's like they were uh, angry rulers. Yeah, man. that's really... There's going to be, like, that one guy. Who's but holding out, and he gets killed. The one Henry Fonda. Yeah, that happens in the Borgias. The Borgias? Yeah, it's a show. Okay. I don't watch TV. Yeah. I do. I watch a lot of TV. It's a video game movies. Video, video game movies. Uh, where were we? What was the last? We were we, we well, did Indiana I asked Jones, about Pixels, Indiana Jones. Pixels. And then we went on to uh, there was a Back to the Future games. There was a Back Nest. To wasn't that those Telltale? are older. What? No, that wasn't Telltale. But it was the Telltale same did make yeah no Telltale oh, did Back to the Future game yep that was like really? their first foray into like modern ish games. But it was still had a lot of like vestiges of like old point and click games, yeah. Which I think did uh, just could, well. It was a side scroll, right? The Back to the Future game. What I mean, there was old Back to yeah, the, the NES the, one, the NES ones yeah. were but like top down. There was a more game. recent one, really, that was made by Telltale. Mm. It was the yeah, it was good. It I was hard. The, uh, it was harder. I really liked the Pilot Wings movie. I think it was called the Aviator. Top Gun. Oh. <laughs> Top Say what you good. will. I fucking love Pilot Wings. I know you do. Just I would love them to make a movie based on the original Pilot Wings, where no. like there's just instructors like... who are like. <laughs> <laughs> I played Pilot Wings sixty four and had no idea what it was Pilot until Wing I met you. Know, and I like good. I was describing this game. And you're like, was it Pilot Wings? And we looked at it, and like the nostalgia just flew back at me. Pilot Wings sixty four is not as good because well, it doesn't have the instructors who are like either completely dismissive of you. Or blown the fuck away if that you know what they you're made doing. a pilot wings movie. The first half would be like a learning how to do something, yeah. and then it would just be like you're in war. Yep, you're a war guy. Oh. Well, you could just cover that with an eighties learning montage. Yeah, it would be a learning montage, and then and then fucking Full Metal Jacket. Except you, getting you would have to use now. getting strong. Now. Only you're just learning how to fly a plane. You're not actually getting. You could be. You're, they never, are muscles. They never. You see him like aggravated, like kicking the tire of his plane. I want to see like. <laughs> I want to see an A's montage but it starts a strong guy and he ends up weak at the end of it. So an A's montage of like cancer or Just, AIDS? So you want to take Philadelphia <laughs> speed it up a little bit? Do the prequel of Philadelphia. <laughs> I mean you should watch any of those backwards. You watch if you Rocky watch... backwards it's about a guy who gets really down on his luck. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> he's down in his luck at the end of that movie. I know, but... I think if you watch Rocky backwards, it's the same movie. <laughs> the first Rocky doesn't change. Rocky's just a parabola. Yeah. And but he's a dude about, who's really obsessed with running down a bunch of stairs. Backwards. <laughs> 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 he's just like... Well, Momentum's starts carrying going like, me for most of this. All right, running down these stairs backwards. <laughs> That would be a little impressive. It would. <laughs> That's a lot of stairs to run down back. I ran into Stallone in L.A. I think I told you before. Yeah. He you is, live a charmed life, Daniel. He is smaller than I expected, <laughs> but also much stronger looking than I expected. He's stout. He's like a dwarf. He's scary. Should have picked him up and brought him home. Mm. Come on, Stallone. That would be like picking up... I'm sorry, sir. Is that a Stallone in your carry-on? <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that, we, you is that to, not okay? Yeah, not, oh, you I have to check you Stallone. Have to check Stallone. Yeah, not Stallone. 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 Uh, <laughs> Are you going through customs for me? <laughs> oh, did someone did someone pick up my Stallone? <laughs> I had him. This like, should be on the little carousel. There's a whole bunch of carousels with like their own different Stallones, Stallones with like different little tags. The little it's like the like yeah, episode of Rick and Morty with the um the with the Jerry daycare. We're, we're good at staying on topic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's too movie game really on topic. What's your favorite movie turned into a game? Hmm. Five Man Two. Weren't we on games turned into movies? What's your favorite game turned into a movie? Game turned into Warcraft? a movie. World of Warcraft? Fuck no. <laughs> uh, it wasn't that bad. Game turned into a movie? Are we, are we Mario touching? Brothers movie. Are we, oh, I knew you were going to say it. I don't well, like that movie. Well, it's just funny. So, I don't know. You all know, you know the story behind that. It was originally supposed to be more Mario-ish. And Nintendo poo-pooed it because it was too dark. Really? And then, uh... The production yeah. studio was like, all right, fuck it. We had an idea for another movie. We'll just make that. And slap <laughs> Mario characters <laughs> into it. I want to see the original movie. It was too you dark. Did? Oh, no. But, yeah. No, yeah. The second night we lived together, you made me watch that piece of work. It's a funny I, movie. It's it's okay. It has none of the nostalgia okay. that it has for you. So. <laughs> I, think, I think it's a fun movie. 
It is. I think like Dennis Hopper is awesome as Bowser. And he's think, hilarious. I really okay. think the only. I, well, I think my favorite part of that is when they get arrested. Bobby, Bobby, oh, and Luigi, Luigi Mario. How Bobby many Mario's are they? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly two. That guy wasn't that bright. I thought that that was one of the best jokes of the movie. Yeah, they really? the Mario Brothers. <laughs> yeah, and like no one ever thought that that would be a surname. <laughs> That's so great, and uh, John Linguizano, he's he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I think they cast Mario great. What was Bob Hoskins? Bob Hoskins. Bob Hoskins. Yeah. I'm like that's perfect Mario. He's a good actor. Or he was a good actor. But then they're he's like, he's still a good actor. I never realized he was people English. think he's dead. <laughs> Fucking John Linguizano was like coasting off. Of, he he made like a dangerous Shmi? game movie. He was Shmi. <laughs> he was Shmi. <laughs> Mario Shmi. In book. He was also fucking. Uh, uh, Detective. Oh, in uh, Frame Roger Rabbit? Yeah. That's an amazing movie. It is. It's, that probably had a video game. That shoe scene that scarred me <laughs> when huh? I was a kid. The shoe scene uh, scarred did, me. It did have a video game. Yeah. It was for the NES. I wasn't having it. It did. Okay. No, it did. Oh, no, okay. It had a video game. I've been, I've been proven wrong. So we're still on topic. <laughs> <laughs> Did they make you play through the shoe scene? It was like spam button to not get like <laughs> shoe get dunked, and it gets dunked. Well, anyway. you you play as uh, Christopher Lloyd, and you have to tap the button to dip it in. <laughs> so you're playing the villain in that moment. So oh, I got good. a question that's on topic. Crazy. Weird. The Star Wars yeah. games, because I don't think we're gonna say oh Star so, Wars, but what's I your think, favorite Star Wars game? Star Wars. I think, Star Wars, I think game. Star Wars games tend to be some of the best like franchise games. Yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of their. I'm not saying it's not good, but a lot of their work is done for them. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good thing to pick up. Also, like, if you're a fucking publisher, you just have those money eyes. Because you're like, <laughs> well, even if they make crap, people are going to buy it. Yeah. yeah. Especially if we put, like, you know, like a review embargo on it. Because that'll be uh, <laughs> I guess so. But, like, Star Wars Games also has a whole bunch of, like, gems that people are No, really they, they, they do well. I'm not saying that they, they do yeah, I, I know that like it comes to a certain level of like gravitas when you mm. say Star Wars in front of something. But the, what was but the one the where they ones. used that uh, that awesome engine in it? Oops, that was the Force first Unleashed. Force Unleashed. Yeah, that was. Where they had the like the endorphin engine. I think, yeah, where the like, guys grabbed first... stuff. I remember they were... hurl it. I remember the, the the they showed the tech demo where they put like a piece of wood up there and he was throwing R two D twos at it <laughs> and it was like breaking the wood dynamically and everyone was like oh my god dynamic wood breaking well we wanted mean, this yeah, yeah. Well, I know it was like the first time that's ever happened otherwise you'd like hit a board in the top left corner and what? it would break you know straight through the middle and you're like that. I guess <laughs> well everyone was like that's fine or no matter what you threw at a wall it made the same cracked pattern and you're like hmm. that's fine everyone was fine with that and then they were like well now I now I'm not. Because well, yeah. now I have this. <laughs> we didn't know what we wanted before. Yeah, Force Unleashed was a good... The Force Unleashed was canon yeah. for Star Wars Universe. Or and the, then it wasn't. The Old Republic. Um, yes. I wish that I liked those games more. Well, the thing is, like, I, I don't like MMOs that much. But oh, I think my favorite dungeons were in the Star Wars The Old Republic MMO. Yeah. Star Wars The Old Republic was a good game. Uh, I was talking more about like Knights of the Old Republic. Oh, Knights of the Old Republic. Because I know those are like critically acclaimed. Yeah. yeah I couldn't get into it. Yeah, it's I'm weird because I. They're basically Mass Effect I, Star I, Wars. No, I love Mass Effect. <laughs> and I love Dragon Age, but for some reason I never got into the KOTOR games. <laughs> and I know, I, I know I'll know i like them if I just took the I time. heard they're just hard to get into. Like, that's a big thing about them. Yeah. I don't know. I would love to try them. So. Oh, I just found out. Trying to see if you can be. You weren't on it. Yeah, it's it's hard. I'm to probably get in on it. it a few times, reaching for donuts. But uh, I think... so is this just a video of the table? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. It looks like there's a lemon on Dan's plate right now. But it that's is a lemon. A bagel. No, that's a lemon. No, that's a lemon. <laughs> anyway, that's probably my breakfast bagel? routine. I don't. You do bagel? say bagel? How do you say bagel? bagel? No, no. How do you? No, when you bagel. think about it, you say it different. What are you talking say about? Say bagel. I'll bagel. play the audio back later. You say bagel. Bagel. You say. I don't hear the difference. Bagel. Bagel. Everyone's saying bagel the same right now. No, did no. he not? Did you? Everyone in use. I'm not. <laughs> anyway, um, the Pod Racer game was fantastic. Oh yeah, the first one. Yeah. Racer Revenge. Was there another was okay one? Too. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was two. It was there's a uh, Pod Racer and Racer Revenge, right? I don't remember. There's a place where Nick and I went once that had a sit in, and you had throttles. Yeah. And that I think was I awesome. looked it up, and they're they still around, anymore. but they're, they're just, very they're expensive. very rare. Really? Oh, dude, even like freaking classic machines are expensive 
So if I see Galaga get 88, I'm going to need to get a bank loan. <laughs> <laughs> How much do those things go for? Uh, like a grand or something. I know, like I know that like I was looking for the, the Star Wars sit in one because it's one of my favorite arcade games. That one? Even though it's really bad. It's not that bad. It's pretty bad. It's just... It, no, it's not. I Wait, mean, which Star you're Wars You're a TIE one? fighter. Oh. Or you're, you're an X-Wing, right? Yeah, some of them. But you just do, no matter what you are, you you're a have, gun. I love, I love how, like, you, trench you do a lightsaber battle and you you still have a gun. I love when you're uh, when you're running around in those games because there's this couple of walking around segments. Yeah, on the Haas one. But you're still just a joystick. Yeah. The joystick segments are awesome. The ones where you're actually fine. Like doing the... Doing trench run or doing the... Well, doing Haas. the at, -AT stuff. Oh, yeah, going around. Super awesome. I love that game. <laughs> Fuck you. It's, I mean, it's fine. Uh, if it was Star Wars Battle Pod, it's ten grand. It's not Battle Pod. I don't know which one it is. It was like Pod Racer. Yeah, Pod Racer. Isn't Pod that what we were talking? That's what Ed was like. Yeah. Friend. No, I was talking about the other one. Just Star Wars. I, I, I think it was the Empire the Strikes Star Back. Wars game. They had a uh, Return of the Jedi levels. You just no one played those ones. You think you, you, you had to play it's too hard? Was so Rogue? You pick? So there was like the Rogue Squadron set of games. I remember one where you there were segments where you're back in the uh, prequels, flying around it's like Obi Wan and whatnot. But I can't and there were like walking around sections, but I can't remember what game that was. What? Oh, that was. I mean, there was. They had the one that went with. Oh, that that was a pretty good Naboo. movie game. Was the uh, the Star Wars one that came out with the uh, Phantom the first the Phantom Menace? The, the Phantom Menace. Yeah. No, the Phantom, oh, the Menace. Phantom Menace game. Yeah. yeah. I remember because it started out. The, was it was it Koi oh, the negotiations Jin? were sure did it start out there because yeah. what I remember was Koi Gon Jin walking around in the woods with Jar Jar Binks yeah I think that game. happened to him. I think you start out where the movie starts out I don't, is that where the movie starts out yes they, yeah. they start out in yeah, I think it's I think that was pretty much uh, negotiations were sure they were okay, they, they what did they do in the movie because in the game they pumped poison gas in they did. And then they like, we were like, hold your breath, Obi-Wan. Obi was like, okay, so I thought they didn't sense that. Destroy, destroy us. us. Master, destroy us. <laughs> I love Sassy. <laughs> destroy us. Ah, uh, Duncan's hard. Oh, is he? <laughs> I can't breathe good right now. <laughs> no, I'm just going to smell my bagel. I mean lemon. Oh my god, dude. Your dog's farts smell like... <laughs> they smell like the bad end of a meat processing plant, which I think is what a dog is, right? Probably. Yeah. And this is kind of what an asshole is. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know what, processing? I don't know what to tell you. I'm not smelling it. Well, it hasn't hit me yet. We'll you know, guys are though. fucking lucky. We, we get it. With, got, with the timing on the audio, we can track how, I want how long it takes. None, none of this you who now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of like some of the goofier movie to game stuff. Like, There's a Home Alone game, wasn't there? Yeah. yeah. A lot of like the movie the game stuff, I feel like more so... Happened back during NES yeah. time. Yeah, or like during, Game Boy. Because it was easy. During it was NES time, it was just, yeah, a lot of them were the same thing. <laughs> These days. And I, they didn't have to actually. I mean, there was like the Jurassic Park game that was nothing like. Yeah. Like, there was the one where you played as a raptor. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I think or I a person. <laughs> well, there was. Um, Who would oh, pick ooh, the I think it's getting to me. I think I'm. Well, there was the Alien vs. Notes. Predator game that was really good. It came out a few months ago, or not months, Jesus Christ, like a few years ago now. Oh, Alien Isolation? Uh, no. Alien Isolation, I hear, is good, but I've never really got into the it. The horror one? Yeah, that's Alien Isolation. We played that on the... Uh, on yeah, the... it was fine. I remember... Um, but I'm sure it's good. I once got, like, in a cereal box, like, a collection of Independence Day games. And it was, like... One weird. was yeah, it was weird and it was bad. It was like a, a side like one was like a side scroller, almost like um old style arcade game where you had like your ship here and you could go move up and down and fire and then you had enemy ships coming in like this. Um and then one was like escaping from the mothership. It was bad. Like it was a just a bad game. There are more good video game adaptations of movies than I initially thought. Start talking. <laughs> I'm I'm drawing blanks on good games to movies though. Like a movie based off a game, I can't think of. A That's color. because like when they're making a movie out of a game, they compromise weirdly. To I think get they, the story. I'm trying to think. There has to be like I think, one. I think there's too that much. We're not thinking of. I think there's too much when they make a game I'll to a movie. Still, thinking about. I'll still vote. If you're a fan of the game, Warcraft is okay. 
I, I think guess. they spend too much time on you like fan service and trying yeah, to be like the game, it. It was... rather than building an actual good Warcraft movie based is the off reverse an idea. end of the compromise. You know what I mean? Like the compromise in Prince of Persia was a. Well, I don't know what the compromise. Prince of Persia was. I about. think it was everything. <laughs> but like most video game movies, they either make it too too different than the game, and then what Warcraft is, they made it too much of the game. You also you needed knowledge. About it. You did. It's just picked yeah, up had, in the middle. I of had no idea what was going on. Here's the problem. On. I had to go. Is that thrall? Is that thrall in the basket? No one would have known that. Here's oh, the yeah, thing. Yeah, or Jesus. Here's course. the problem. I think. Like, like, let's <laughs> say, let's say you're making a game to a movie. Like, let's take Assassin's Creed for example. I don't know if they did a movie in that, but let's, <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, let's say topical, when they it make the Assassin's topical. Creed movie, they could go on to roots. They can make it just like the game and do a bunch of fan service, and people are like, oh yeah, Assassin's Creed movie. It is based off the game, so, but it's not a good movie. Or they can make a movie that's just about an assassin that has a completely different storyline, doesn't really touch on the game too much, and then people are going to be like, it's just an assassin movie. It's not really based on the game. Well, right? there isn't a Splinter Cell movie. I think there was talk of a Splinter Cell movie for a while. But there, there can be a compromise. There doesn't. It's just it really tough to get that. The thing is, like, so as of right now, the Assassin's Creed movie, the, all of the trailers I've seen for it, looks like a good movie. Yeah. The, like it looks they got Michael Fassbender who's a really good actor who's who's like putting his heart and soul into this like he was the one who like like was pushing for this movie to happen he's like the Ryan Reynolds for this he's movie. the Ryan Reynolds of the Assassin's Creed movie I, I want to picture Michael Fassbender like walking by some like I don't know if he has kids but I'm, he's babysitting for his uh, cousins of course because Michael Fassbender is a good guy um, so he's babysitting he's a great guy he's a great guy he walks by and he's like he's like Oh, what's this? Oh, and then he just plays it for like the entire weekend, no <laughs> sleep. And then he's like, "We need he to make the this." Children. He just starts calling. He's I'm like, "Try." Have you played? Coconut. He's like fucking uh, in that Lonely Island song, Michael. Oh, Boulay. Michael Bublé. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, have you guys seen this Assassin's Creed game? It's the best thing I've ever seen. And they're like, yeah, can we talk about this other movie that you're going to be in? And he's like, no way, man. We got to make Assassin's Creed like now. <laughs> I don't hate it. It's good. They right. actually wrote it into the contract for the last X Men movie. Fucking. Uh, he said he wouldn't do it unless they make it as fast as Make it when Michael Fassbender walks past walls too closely. He accidentally runs up them sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Fassbender, know the way. Michael Fassbender, know the way. Um, but yeah, there doesn't need to be that compromise where they give up. You think they're they're gonna put that like lips and eye person for the assassins? <laughs> He's gonna be the main bad guy. I hear. <laughs> that movie would be horrifying. <laughs> Like, if you just throw a hood up over that, so you can only see the eyes, that's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that will be addressed. I, d I doubt it. That would be hilarious if they actually did that level of fantasy. Yeah, that would be... If they did, just a second. <laughs> but no, it looks really... The thing about Assassin's Creed, which I think makes it, like, almost the perfect game to make a movie out of, is because of the setup of Assassin's Creed. Mm -hmm. It's like, you are a guy from normal times... You, you get go in the machine, you're going into an animus, and then you're gonna go have an adventure. Yeah, Fucking yeah. like, and like, all the games are kind of different in that respect. And that's what they did. They are making a movie that uses the animus and all that stuff, and that's the part that ties to the game. But then the characters and stuff are new characters, new story. It takes place during, I think, the Spanish Inquisition. Um, yeah, I'm Who excited. Would have but guess what's gonna happen? They're gonna make a game out of that. So it's, it's, both. it's going both ways. It's going to gonna fucking Prince of Persia the shit out of this shit. Well, it's going both ways because it was a game, now it's a movie, and the movie's going to be coming. Prince of Persia, that all the time. They, they do. do. What's your favorite uh, game movie game? Uh, Prince it's of Persia. Tron. <laughs> Tron. <laughs> I've never played it's, Tron. It's a movie about a game that got turned into a game, which spawned a new movie. That's too many. I like that. It probably had a game. I it like, probably did have a game. I really like the new Tron. I, I loved the old trauma when I was a kid, but no, I went back and watched bad. it, and it's, it's really dated so and bad. bad. The only good thing is Jeff Bridges. The I like that part where Jeff Bridges goes... <sighs> <laughs> you know that part? Yeah. Like, the coloring <laughs> isn't even, like, consistent. They didn't, like, shoot it in a blue room. No. I think they shot it in a normal room and made it blue afterwards. They shot it in black and white. And then they added in the color and everything after the It's thing. very yeah. weird. Did they really do that? I'm pretty sure, yeah. They, they, they colored it all in post-production. That's weird. I feel like just some blue lights. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, white suits. Or how about the movies? The movies, the game? <laughs> <laughs> 
That's a great movie game. It fucking that's, is. That's kind of the pinnacle. That's of probably movie game, that's movie as game. meta as movie games and, get. And I, the the radio guy. Uh, he's cool. He's great. I like what he says. I don't remember any specifics. He would like talk about the pinkos invading. Uh, or... They had a gun. Got me. No one knows this. I know. No one knows what that. Is. I don't care. We're gonna have to find I that. I said and post it for it. me, not for anyone. Else. <laughs> That's gone, dude. I don't know where that is. It's in the deep web. I've been like, no way. It's not on the <laughs> internet. Yeah, it's. it's and actually... we were passing around like we were sneakers. Didn't you post it on it online? Around. You posted it online. Because you could. The movies, when they released, they had a website where you could post them. I didn't. Really? I, bur- I burnt them to a DVD and handed them to my friends. One of us still has one of those. You were the coolest. I, that is cool. That's sneaker netting shit. Maybe, maybe it's in the storage locker. And no, I uh, couldn't find it. I couldn't find it since high school. Just remake it. You I have think the movies. Dan has it. Dan <laughs> has it. I think he was the last. He's like, hey, hey, Nick, can I borrow that? And I was like, okay, Dan. Call him Dan, up. Dan Collings, when you're listening to this. Uh... <laughs> We need a copy. Please return <laughs> the Going Ape series. That would be the best thing. I think it's considered a stolen property at this point. <laughs> well, well, no, it's his now. Is it possessions of nine tenths of the law or some shit? Oh, does that mean anything? It means that nine tenths of the law is I, I've, possession. I've heard it a lot, but does that like, that means it's real? We should make a horror movie called Possession is Nine Tenths of the Law, <laughs> where somebody gets possessed by a, like a cop. Like, oh, a judge. A judge gets possessed oh. by a demon, and the demon's like, oh, so no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Cut the mics. This is too good. <laughs> <laughs> but what would be the, the premise? Like, I'm just picturing a possessed judge wreaking havoc in the courtroom. That's yeah. all I'm seeing. But I think he's order, order, and disorder. <laughs> he, he sentences the uh, the prosecution to death. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> Why did they have it's a guillotine they in the courtroom? Wait, why did you picture guillotine? I think everyone no, pictured the, the trap floor dropping out. They pulled a little. He's like, how did you see that many people? You it's think the jury really, all sitting there with their heads over it's the It's a really old court. Just like, court. I don't like this. <laughs> Or the whole room is a game. Do you, yeah, do you the think whole room is a giant. You think it's like an ethical violation if you like sit on the thing that the jury sit on and like just rap with them for a second? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're hey guys, to, let me let me talk just, to you about guilt. <laughs> you're gonna have to talk to him. Uh, what's his name? Um, uh, oh, new. The guy was gonna say age, but I say same age. Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. He loves leaning on things and being a lawyer. <laughs> It's like his favorite two things to do is be a lawyer and lean just become a lawyer. <laughs> well, he was a Lincoln lawyer Let in the movie you. The Lincoln Lawyer. Have you guys that. ever seen a little film called Dazed and Confused? I was in that film back in... Uh... <laughs> is he rapping with a jury? He's like... My, uh, uh, Wait, is this Matthew McConaughey? Matthew McConaughey. I keep on to say his name Matthew McConaughey Fosman. playing a lawyer? What? Is the movie following Matthew McConaughey being Matthew, himself as a lawyer? Matthew, you're not playing you. Matthew, you're playing a character. Please, Matthew. <laughs> now, people I don't always... think there's a difference anymore. <laughs> No, there is now. Matthew McConaughey is now a respectable actor. I don't know what the fuck happened. Matthew McConaughey used to be like, weird guy in movie, rom-com thing, lawyer thing, and then became the best actor of our generation. It's it's sort of like a... Well, that was was during the best actor of our generation. It was, I think, it was Dallas Buyers Club. I still haven't seen that. Yeah. It's really good. And it was um, uh, Jared Logan got an Academy Award for that. What was right? that? What was the was the, the the television show? I know what he's not getting. Like, True Academy Detective. What? Suicide Squad. Who? <laughs> oh yeah. He said Jared Logan got an Academy, Academy Award for Dallas, 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 Dallas Buyer Club. Club. I was like, I know what he's not getting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 what is, that was my impression. It's like a dying Jared. walrus. He was having an asthma when attack. he was when he laid down. He was like in a circle. <laughs> you gotta get me my guns guy there, there too. There were guns there too. Do you think Suicide Squad will get a tie-in game? Uh, it, fair enough. I don't. It'll probably be better than the movie. Boom. You know what was a terrible... Which is weird because DC has their own game studio. Well, they have Batman. Well, Warner they make Brothers it, does. They make a Batman game. Batman, ga- oh, yeah. Batman games. Yeah, yeah, those are good. Those, those aren't really movie about. games though. Why? Some of them are. It's, it might be a comic book game. It's different when it's a franchise. Game. It's different you when mean, the like, company that owns Batman has its own game development studio and its own movie different? development studio. Well, I think well, Batman. I still think it's a movie game, well, but not based on the movies. Yeah, it's fair. I mean, and based on the characters, yeah. based on the franchise. The same I mean, thing with Star Wars. Well, they're. I mean, they're I well, bet you original, if you piece them together, no. they're like one of the old Batman movies. Because there's one with like Poison Ivy, Catwoman. Uh, like in the game, not uh, obviously. I mean, in the game. Um, yeah, but the games aren't based on them. Like Arkham Asylum's not based on any movie, right? No, not yet. Then neither is Force Unleashed. We talked about that for 
point. I mean, we could point out, like, Batman Returns for Super Nintendo, which <laughs> used the Mortal Kombat <laughs> engine. That game is garbage. Yeah, you know, it, it took me... I had that game when I was a kid, right? Yep. And Ed got... knows he gave it to you. Oh, thank you. I also have it. I, I still beat, have it down there. And I beat that very first area. The very first walking area. Couldn't figure out how to get. 15 years later. <laughs> I'm sitting there and I'm like, select? I press select? Yeah, you have to like grab. You have to go off. underneath something that looks just like everything, everything else, else. And hit select at the right spot. So what? <laughs> the select button shoots a grappling hook out of your dick. And put you into the next level. Yeah. I didn't figure that out. Dude, everyone knows that. Isn't there a game... They know it now. Isn't there a game on um, SNES that you, to defeat a boss, you had to take the controller out of... Uh, that that was PlayStation. Play that was Psycho Mantis. We mentioned that. Yeah. We can't talk about Psycho Mantis. Oh, okay. That's, that's Why not? Uh, subject for another day. That's another day. That's okay. Another day. Um, you know what game? It's important. Spoilers. It's fucking important. There was um, Psycho there was Mantis, a, I think, is a very important thing. There's a Nightmare Before Christmas game. Redacted. Yes. I did Redacted. not enjoy that game. It'll be all beat. <laughs> I mean, there's Kingdom Hearts, which has all the Disney movies. I played Nightmare Before Christmas for about 15 I guess minutes. Kingdom Hearts, and is. Kingdom Hearts is again one of those like pinnacle. Yeah, it's not really it's a movie not really game, a but it takes game, the movie characters. stuff yeah, and you, characters. You play. You no, know, I know, but like it it's sort of like, like a trailer. Other game. than I've, I've seen Tarzan a few times, and I don't remember the that. giant chameleon really? monster. Oh. He was the worst boss. Oh yeah. Was there a Hydra in Hercules? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you fought the. That was the first monster. You, you know, it's a game to movie. Um, just this past April, I have to think Ratchet and Clank. Oh yeah. I didn't see That's that. a game to movie. Ratchet and Clank is a game oh, movie. I you heard a movie? Yeah, it came I out in April. I heard, I heard it, it was wasn't bad. Good. Yeah, you heard it was bad or wasn't bad? Because he said it was it wasn't good. Yeah, I heard it was bad. Oh yeah, well of course I saw the trailer. I thought that was gonna be terrible. Well, I, I didn't. didn't. I, didn't I thought it was gonna be cool. I didn't Again, know. Sony has movie. They could have done fine with it. Pretty much whenever I hear a game turning into a movie, I expect it's gonna be bad because then they can over oh, they can only overcome my expectations. But as a rule, it's can you take that approach to everything? Then? No. Like, ah, oh, my day's gonna be shit. How was your day? Hey, it was better than I expected. <laughs> this is Dude, your dog died. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be way worse though. <laughs> way worse than that. I thought he was gonna take me with him. <laughs> the dog's sitting there with a gun. Like, today's the day we die. It's like, oh shit, why are you know we How are you holding that gun? How are you talking? He's holding it like this. He's got his paw and Oh like, Finn. Or, Finn holding yeah. a gun. Yeah, Finn could hold a gun. Finn could, he's strong. He could hold a gun. Strength doesn't determine you. For a dog, it does. I mean, have you ever picked up a gun? They're pretty heavy. They're sure. They're denser than you'd expect. The I gun expect would probably weigh dense. as much as Finn. Yeah, depending on the gun. Finn doesn't mind. Finn's like an ant. He is. He can lift like <laughs> he can he lift lifts. so much. Sometimes I walk so in then, there and he's lifting he, Georgie. Finn Finn is like a dog that's like this, this big, big. <laughs> <laughs> with these sociopathic eyes. Yeah, Finn looks like he knows way too. It's much. really the eyebrows. <laughs> His eyebrows curl down. Finn understands secrets that you'll never be able to. I don't know, I, I, that dog scares me. <laughs> <laughs> Dog's great. He's fine. Meanwhile. Ed's dog is currently licking the couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your dog will never kill you. No, him. no, actually, Duncan is scary from time to time because we'll be standing in the kitchen and he stands at the gate but he tilts his head down a little bit <laughs> and he looks like a serial killer. <laughs> Especially when it's dark in there. Oh, that's creepy. All things that no one can see because this is an audio thing. I mean, well, there's a, there's a thing. We, we, we could know. put Duncan on the table. But Duncan, no, that's Duncan is about... Like the size of the table. He's yeah. big. He's a big guy. He's, big. He's a big dog. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tangents. Where are we? I keep having to think. <laughs> we keep movies. going back to games made from movies. We haven't really discussed movies made from games too much. We well, talked about Assassin's Creed. We talked about Warcraft. And, and Warcraft. Creed. I, think, I think it's just the... Um, um, we talked about, we talked about um, Mario Brothers. Mario Brothers. You know, it's just like those ga- those are awful. They and, are, they're, they're and they're all kind awful. of rare. Wasn't was Chronicles a very good game? I think it was a game, but I don't think it was it a wasn't, comic. And wasn't there a Doom movie? Yes, there was a Doom movie. I forgot about it. I did too. With was it good? Rock. It has the yeah. other rock drop. I haven't seen pretty they much. Did a first person movie. I've did seen a, very few games turned uh, into seventeen Resident Evils. Oh, oh yeah, Resident Evil. Evil. That's a low hanging fruit. Pretty good. Good. pretty good. Pretty good. That's overall. like that's they're like pretty, all of them. They're pretty good. They made because they basically just make a zombie movie, right? Shit, There's not much fan service in those. But I think I mean, that's a completely I think, different. No, there fan service. They go into Umbrella Corp and the guy. But they they strike a balance. 
Oh, yeah. Silent Hill? They do a good job. Had a couple movies. I think people liked the Silent first Hill? Silent Hill. There's two. I like the aesthetic of the Silent Hill movie. Fucking, what's Pyramid his name? Pyramid Head, it? it's awesome. What's his name? What? Michael Fassbender. No, 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 but close. <laughs> the other guy? Uh, Sean Bean. Sean Bean. He's not close to Michael Fassbender. Ah, they could both, be. They're we both don't know. Man who always dies. What if they hang out? <laughs> Um, he doesn't die in Silent Hill. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's surprising. That's why. That's the takeaway from Silent Hill. Is that he wants. He wants people. Die. Be, this is what his, his career leads up to. He dies in every movie until he gets to a horror movie where you expect him to die, and then he pulls a big switcheroo. Then he becomes like the hot blonde chick. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't die. Um, Final Fantasy had a couple movies. Were they good? It was. Weren't those? Yeah. Weren't those animated films? One was. Advent yeah. Children. There was Advent Children. And there Advent was like Children. The Spirits Within. I feel like oh, animated. Oh, I do remember the spirit. The Spirits Within was, was kind of like t- Titan AE or something. Uh, spirits Within was a big milestone because it was one of the first like fully 3D animated movies. Yeah. But it was a garbage story. It was weird. I I remember lots of like blue wisps. Yeah. I there were like ghosts think... yeah. attacking the world they were that were weird solid ghosts. when they wanted to. To be, you know, they as you do, could still be killed by bullets. As what? you do, I don't know, dude. It is, I think there was uh, a, I've never uh, seen this movie. Advent Children was basically just like Final Fantasy VII fan service. Yeah, it was, was like, that, that do you want to watch Cloud and Sephiroth fight? Stay tuned, it's uh, coming, baby. How about some cool motorbikes? Do you want some motorbikes? You want to see? You want to see Cloud uh, being sad? I don't I think there were Chocobos. Chocobo! I That's only I remember know. him. What is I think Chocobo? there was an overarching oh, plot, oh, okay. but I just remember Cloud on a motorcycle. I think the plot was like people were getting sick because of something Sephiroth did. I mean, that sounds like him. And then yeah. there were three guys trying to resurrect either Sephiroth or Genova. And then <laughs> something they did turned one of those guys into Sephiroth, As you and then Cloud fought him mm-hmm. and won yeah. with mm-hmm. the help of friendship. Always. And then the disease went away because I, don't know. I try to do that at work when I'm like on the a deadline. I'm away. like, I'm gonna use the power of friendship. Doesn't it? <laughs> it worked. Uh, well, the power of love is what got them out of Interstellar. Mm. I still haven't seen that. Good. My opinion on Interstellar Blue Microphone is that I don't like it. <laughs> I think I think it's overrated piece of shit, and I love Matthew McConaughey. Power, power and of and Love is also a thing. Back to the Future. He's great. He's great in Interstellar Blue Microphone. You you have to understand that. But it's a bad movie, Blue Microphone. <laughs> <laughs> but he's the best part. It's, I don't fault him. It's the writing. Yeah, the funny yeah. thing is, he talks to the microphones when we are recording too. <laughs> yeah. um, he just carries it around. <laughs> funny sad it'd be cool these funny things, in these sort things, of a, a weird yeah, odd way a weird a sad way in our culture Dan. all right so we've talked a shit ton about this stuff how long have we been recording for there's no way to check in there is about there? 50 minutes 50 yeah so we all right 10 minutes left, so, so i think the last question is what video game do you think should be made into a video game? oh i have another last question oh cool we well let's, we'll, let's we'll do, do it after yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Right. mine's quick happen. mine's quick we it start would, with you because i want some kind of thing what video game do you think should I think Bioshock would be a cool movie to see. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because, like, Bioshock is the lore rich. It is. Uh, setting rich. Everything is so... It's set up I for think... a trilogy, which is basic. I mean... Well, yeah, that's yeah. that's what I was going to say. No, so, I don't know about the second one. It's tough to... It's set up for at least two movies. It's tough to go into them because they won't know how successful they are. And if well, they well, make I mean, it with the, the intention... Well, I, think, I think that the movie... I, I think a movie about Bioshock would need to take the story of one of the two games that exist. I don't know. I think it would be cool to see the fall of Rapture instead of... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, I think you could do the fall of Rapture. And then if that does well, they could While be cutting movies. back to, like, uh, him building it, basically. I think, I think that, that would make cool. a good... And so I think... that would make really Andrew think, Ryan, like, the main character. I think Infinite could just be a movie. I want... Did they make a book or something out of Infinite? I want more of that story. story yeah. I want... I, that story's so good. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Bioshock. So, Ed, what do you think? Mm. Now that Nick took the best one. I <laughs> did. I, I have one if you want me to go for you. Yeah, yeah you, you can go. go. I think that Portal could make a good movie if they did it right. Like, have you guys seen um, 10 Cloverfield Lane? Yeah. yeah. I think if they did Portal like how they did that movie, they could make a really good movie. If it's like a psychological trap sort of thriller. I am picturing John Goodman. John Goodman's <laughs> head <laughs> on the end of I mean, like, where they're, 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 they're just picturing GLaDOS and like a hat and like a and like a plaid shirt. shirt and just sitting there and like 
You want to eat some food or something? <laughs> but yeah, I think if they did Portal with that sort of tone and feel, they can make a good Portal movie. The thing, of, the weird thing about Portal is, I think that like it's such a high concept idea that it would need to be done right as a movie. Yeah. But I think it would be better as like almost like a fifteen minute fan film. Yeah. Because like I think the gimmick of Portal would 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 wear thin. I well, feel. what they need to do is do a really deep character study of Shell. Well, that's just it. Yes. Like, Portal, I don't consider story rich. It's more character rich. Well, but uh, I think that works well. If they well. did the prequel, if they did the, the story you learn about during Portal 2, that yeah. could be... Oh, well, they, they did, did like... Well. St- honestly, I think Portal... I was about to say yeah. Portal 2, I think. Portal, yeah. Because I'm thinking of, I don't of even like, know, just... I don't... I mean, I think you could do some of the stuff from that, what you actually play in Portal 2, but I want Cave Johnson. It would, it would probably, yeah, probably yeah. have to also be made by Pixar. Because, like, I'm, I'm thinking oh. of, like, these big, like, story rich <laughs> games, and I just... Squishing the thing glad- with like headbutting the eye down. And I think DreamWorks would probably make it though. Yeah, I think so I think in these like big story which games, there's so much story already there that it's gonna a, be fine. There's a lot more margin for error with fans. Like if you change something in the story in the story which game that's important to some fans, they're gonna be upset by that. They don't I guess have to really change anything. They could fill in more stuff. Well, but not like, with Portal, but with like story rich uh, games. Yes. But like that's why story rich games they're they're lucky because there's there's lore that can be addressed as opposed to nothing yeah you know what i mean so which is why bioshock can take place in the past because the past exists yeah but i mean like with Portal, you, you have sort of like a clean slate that they can just come to that's just it it would take it would take a really good idea yeah they need a good writing team but like i don't know what that idea is yeah what of you oh you're trying to tell me to go i don't know but not audibly uh i think something kind of obtuse like pokemon could work a Pokemon movie? Like an, <laughs> It'll never work. They made work. so many of them. It'll no. never, <laughs> like never a, fly. I like didn't even market. fucking talk about Pokemon. You get out with most, your Pokemon no, no, movie no, idea. It's one of the most prolific movie video like, game things. You Which know, something geared about. towards the people who grew up with it. Like some fans made a trailer for Sun and Moon. Mm-hmm. Uh, like an adult movie on Pokemon? That was aimed specifically towards the people who grew up with Pokemon. I mean... If, so it was like... This kid, it showed a kid playing Pokemon like under his covers on his Game Boy, and then like cut to him as an adult, and he's like living a sad life, like all of us are. And uh, <laughs> he walks by a window and just looks in, and it's like sun and moon on display, and he just goes, "Oh." <laughs> I mean, I've but, always like, if they did like a crazy live action like weird three D thing. I don't know Pixar maybe. I, yeah, I, I just see see it. I think I Pokemon it. Like the is Disney animated studio that did like Frozen. Yeah, I think Pokemon is obtuse enough that they could make a story I would, and appease the fans. Yeah, no, I would like to see that too. I've always wanted to see. But it would need to be done um, really good. Once again, it's something I think that's more in line with Dan's thing. I've always something wanted that would to work see as like a fifteen-minute um, fan film, but. Sorry, Dan. That's okay. I'm so fucking it's okay. sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I've always wanted to see like an adult tone Pokemon, yeah. like an anime or even a movie that's like adult, it's mature like content. I've seen adult tone Pokemon. Really, like like <laughs> uh, not that adult tone. I once saw Watch your Pokemon friend. XXX. I once saw an Ekans and a Meowth going to town on Jenny. <laughs> Jenny. Jenny and the Jets. <laughs> Jenny and the Jets. What's her name? Jesse. There it is. <laughs> No, I th- Jesse's the guy, isn't it? No. no. Really? Je- it's James. James and Jesse. Jesse James. Jenny, so, uh, Officer Jenny. I saw the Squirtle Squad. No, but yeah. I, I mean like... I, know, I, I mean like a film noir-esque Pokemon show. I saw a bunch of Pikachus uh, going to town. Just, 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 uh, just Ash sitting there in the desk with his hat down. <laughs> Officer Jenny walks in. She walked into my office. <laughs> you know, Pokemon... Snapping in the background. I think would be a good, like... Like if they treated it like they treated Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah, like grabbed a kid and had him grow up with like yeah, a, like a sex topology. I mean, they blew their chance at that. Like everyone who got into Pokemon as it was a, already. I mean, there were still kids playing Pokemon, obviously. But like but our like, generation, yeah. they grew but up. If they treated Pokemon. it kind of like that, I mean, they of... still could. They're generations after us. Yeah, yeah. no, I mean, people will still like it, just... and we'll still watch it when we're forty. Yeah. If it's done well, <laughs> even if it hasn't, we have taste, time, time. time. Ooh. You weren't thinking about I also, I, I, I was. I was cool. thinking that they should make yeah. what game do I play recently? Yeah, what game do I like, kind of? World of Warcraft? They should make Please. World of Warcraft. Oh, well, good news. <laughs> no. If you haven't heard. Oh, well, normal news. I mean, like, it's like the, how they should have made, like, Matrix sequels. Um, I think they should make a World of Warcraft movie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if they treated World of Warcraft the way that I think it should have been treated, I think it should have been 
done by the done by them. Mm-hmm. I think they should have done their fucking like their amazing 3D art and did that. Yeah. As opposed to teams. this stuff, because like not only that, but like the writing in the Warcraft movies really is weird. Yeah, and I it's mean, weird to hear the writing in WoW a lot is also weird, it's right? But like, not... but it would be more believable if it was coming out of a cartoon's mouth. I don't know. Yeah. Part of the reason why it's okay in WoW is because you're playing it, so no, like you it. take it with a grain of salt. They they had a lot of storylines to pull from, and they picked wrong. So anyways, weird. what game would you like to see turned to movie? You just, he just said, well, you, you, want want a, oh, you want another WoW movie. He no, wanted I want, a better one. Want you want a real WoW movie? A yeah. good one. One you can consider a movie. I mean, I guess, I did, again, I didn't hate it. So. I guess they're considering making StarCraft and Overwatch like TV shows or I something. I would like to Dude, see... Dude, an Overwatch television show is all I ever wanted in my life. Since Overwatch came out. The fucking quarter year ago. ago. <laughs> it's not for sure. Oh, it's right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's all I ever fucking wanted in my life. That, a Mass Effect television show, but that's only because Harry Potter's made an amazing little intro for me. Yeah. Um, oh. So, so the... You fucking ass. <laughs> that's probably gonna show up. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. Oh, so no. Ty, what's your question? Uh, my my final farts. question is, now that we've gone through all this, go around and name your favorite of each game to movie and movie to game. Now that we've had a lot more to think of. My favorite... Oh, Jesus Christ. I know, it's so bad. It's so bad. I don't know what happened. Uh, well, I ha- I was constipated the other day. And, like, <laughs> we don't I, got, this I got all that out, and now I'm just like, uh, the hell now fire. The <laughs> I'm sorry. It was Duncan. Duncan did that. Uh-huh. Uh, favorite game to movie. Uh, favorite game to movie. I know, I know, that's not too much. Okay, favorite game to move. That's the hardest question because I don't think, I like I said, I think it's still you don't the have Mario to Brothers, your mind. the Mario mean. Brothers movie because I still can enjoy that on a on a visceral level. I game like that movie. movie. And then movie, movie to game, game, probably like Super Star Wars. Now that we, I and that's like that's try, it tries yeah really hard yeah. to like follow the story of the of the first Star Wars game of the first Star Wars movie. But it, uh, but you fight like a lizard monster inside of a, inside of a, <laughs> inside of a, a sand crawler. Which yeah, is pretty weird. Dude, that, I, I mean, remember that. Part. I mean, happened. they didn't explore the inside of the sand crawler. That's more true. Than, like, two shots. That's there true. could have been a lizard monster. In yeah, there. but it like, probably was. I really like George Lucas could have been like, yeah, yeah. There's a there's a lizard monster in the middle of the sand oh, crawler. I didn't realize George Lucas uh, was in Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is. Yeah, there it is. Uh, movie. Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> it's obviously, just, it's just still it's so good. good. <laughs> like, like all the other movies are, they're like, they're like unapologetically just bad. There's no <laughs> redeeming qualities to the other ones. We didn't, then, we didn't think of too many. Bum bum. Um, yeah, I, I can't think. Of movie to game, I probably Spider Man. Like, I haven't played too many. Spider Man's good. Star Wars is good, but I can't There's get all the Lego anywhere in it. Too. I haven't played too many of them. I do like. Lego DC Universe. Yeah, Lego Lego is Batman. One of, is one of my favorites. Yeah, for me, uh, I guess. Did, what other ones do we, we came up with? Like really bad ones. Uh, well, there are other ones. There's yeah, like Blood Rain, movie. fucking like Kingdom of Kingdom of Men or something like that. Kingdom of Heaven, I think, which was based on a random fucking like Japanese RPG that Uibo makes like a lot of shitty video game movie adaptations and they're bad. I think Mario is still and it's not good. I'm it's not gonna not. say good, but I will but say it's, the best. It's entertaining. Of, but the thing is about Mario, it's still charming. It's it's the best of the worst. Which is all of them. Um so it's there. I guess it's the most memorable and the only one we can think of. Apparently, I guess like so. Battle <laughs> so. Well, that battleship. We made a lot of. What's your favorite from... board game movie? Oh, I have one. Clue. That. Clue. Hundred percent. You had a different one. I have a different one. Um, I was. This is what I'm gonna say because I don't have. Heaven, a, I don't have video the, game. Uh, movie. Wait, that was. That was I game was to movie. Today. Movie to game. Movie to game. Movie the game? Space this is a lot Jam. more of these. There's, there's way more. Space Jam? No, it's Space Jam. <laughs> uh, Space Jam game? <laughs> I, I still have such a fondness for it. That's Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2 is a good it's answer. Yeah, no one's gonna judge Spider-Man 2 was a solid video game. It wasn't just like, it's an okay well, movie game. There's, there's, now that we've come up with so many more, it'd be good. I still want that. Is that gonna I'm happen? thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we could make it. We'll make well, a Kickstarter. We got we got Uncharted and Assassin's Creed coming up. Yes, yeah, so maybe and Minecraft. Time. Don't forget Minecraft. 
<laughs> Great. Could good. It could be good. It probably and looks. Tetris. Is it going to be live action? Who knows? I hope not. I haven't looked into it. I just saw it on Wiki. But yeah, what do you understand? Um, so, game to movie. I have strong opinions about this, and I don't think there have been any redeeming quality games to movies. So I'm not even going to say one of those. I'm going to say a board game to movie. There's a D&D movie called The Darkness Rising 2, oh. and I fucking love that movie. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you can have that one. I'm going to say that one. We're all judging you. Yeah. <laughs> or it's, I think it's called like Gamers 2, The Darkness Rising or something. Okay. Um, movie to game. Bad choice. Uh, Baldur's Gate. Is that movie to game? <laughs> no. I don't think it's movie to game. <laughs> Um, well, if you take the Dungeons and oh, there Dragons was the, movie, the Dungeons and Dragons there was the Wayne's and, Brothers D and D movie, and yeah, then you that. fucking take, the, yeah, it had a, uh, it had Scar. Yes. Be prepared. Uh, Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy Irons. Irons. Thank you, sir. If you're looking for Marshall. Um, around. movie to game. <laughs> I'm probably gonna say, like Rogue Squadron. Okay. Because that 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 one stayed that Star Wars game pr- stayed pretty close to the general like storyline of Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Rogue Squadron was a good and game. it was really fun. You know, what I thought about earlier, just like before we end this, that it's a really good Star Wars game. Was I loved the Na- Jedi and Naboo Starfighter games. Oh, that's the one. I think Jedi Starfighter was really Jedi Starfighter was the one we ran around this Obi Wan. You could get like a Y wing and a B wing. I had the Naboo one. The Naboo Starfighter one. I remember for the N sixty four. It was really good. Yeah, it was a good game. It was just fun. The yeah. were all solid games. All yeah, the Star Fighter games were just good games. The pod racers were good. That was a really good time for Lucas. Yeah, I know, right? Going, going back good. though, I have no idea how to hold the N sixty four controller. Uh, it's one it's hand inside the thing, and then everything. Yeah. And I to, don't know how uh, I did it with tiny hands at the and time. And if you had to use the D pad, you didn't. Um, <laughs> and that's how you played. I can't think of a single game that needed the D pad. Uh, I mean, you'd switch. Uh, you'd, you'd Chef's see. Love Shack was easier to play with a D-pad. Hmm. What? Yeah, <laughs> that's that's, that's a, a future topic. That's a movie game. Movie game, is it? <laughs> well, there was the Star... No, South Park, South Park movie. <laughs> and Chef's Love Shack. Star Park. Star, Star Park. Fuck you, Jaja. Terrence and Philip. <laughs> South Wars. Our main characters. <laughs> Terrence and Philip do Star Wars. Uh, what's up, buddy? <laughs> ah, hey there, Wampa, buddy. <laughs> Well, you know who we have to call after this. We have their numbers, obviously. Trey and Matt. They're good close the friends. They're, they're close. Do it. Oh, Do it, Dan. Oh, it's the time. Do it. And we'll leave it at that, right? Well, yeah, this could be it. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye.